Do you have uh, something new on the agenda? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd like to call the District of Chatland Council uh, meeting to order. Uh, can I have the opening statement read, please? As we gather today on the traditional territory of the Treaty 8 Nations to conduct the business of the District of Chetland, we do so knowing that we are privileged to serve the citizens of this community and we shall endeavor to conduct our business in their best interest. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Prior to adoption of the agenda, is there any new business? Councilor? Not hearing any? Adoption of the agenda. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Carry. Minutes. Minutes of the regular council meeting held on October 17, 2020. Oh, 2022, correct. Second. Councilor Deck, second. Councilor Deck, second. Any discussion, any errors, omissions? All those in favor? Carry. <coughs> Minutes of the inaugur inaugural council meeting held on November 7, 2022. Okay. Councilor McDonald. Councilor McDonald, second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Carried. No delegations. Bylaw, fire protection. B1 Chetlin fire, uh, fire protection and life safety regulations bylaw 1151 2020 requires first, second, and third readings. Council report. Maybe or were we not I'm going to defer that? It's on the agenda, and then uh, you make that uh, oh, motion referral. to defer. Correct. Till next meeting. I'll second that. Discussion. All those in favor? Carry. B two. Uh, District of Chetland Parks and Public Place Regulation Amended Bylaw 1153-2022 requires first, second, and third reading. Motion to give first, second, and third reading. Second. Discussion. All those in Councilor Deck. So these are just house cleaning items? Yes, sir. Yes, these are just basically just streamlining house cleaning. Okay. All those in favor? Gary. B B3, District of Chapman Solid Waste Collection and Disposal Service Bylaw Number 1152-2022 requires first, second, and third readings. Motion to make for second and third reading. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Carry. Committee reports and liaison. Uh, report from uh, the mayor. Orientation uh, month, I believe, after uh, we've got elected. It was very uh, 
Uh, very interesting when you go through for the second and third times at each individual places. The PRRD gave us a couple of uh, orientations, and we had one with uh, with the region, which was very uh, interesting and uh, informative. And uh, we would uh, like to thank the PRRD. Our the mayor would like to thank the PRRD and Dawson Creek for uh, giving us this opportunity to uh, get orientated in our positions and to re uh, renew our uh, education on Robert's Rules of Order. So that's what we all live on here in council and outside when we have meetings in, in uh, uh, places. If we're all there, you know we're at a meeting, so be careful. So anyway, that's some of the stuff that we learned this uh, week and uh, what's going on in the world with our politics. Uh, us being council and uh, administrating some of the stuff that we do. We are uh, province dictated, I suppose, I guess in many ways, and uh, because we are uh, children of the province and uh, Ontario and Saskatchewan right now, their premiers are going in a different direction. So it's a good read and it's taken some of the democratic systems away from the council. So this is uh, something that the mayor's uh, read in the last two days. It's uh, something very interesting and hopefully that uh, the province of uh, British Columbia does not go on that way. So it's an uh, interesting read from the Premier of Saskatchewan and the Premier of Ontario. As for uh, in, uh, in Chapman here, I uh, certainly love that we are starting to put up decorations which is uh, very uh, uh, great to uh, <laughs> to the Christmas effect so uh, it starts right after uh, Halloween so thank you for that and uh, hopefully uh, it'll look really good this year and the parade and Chamber of Commerce Chamber of Commerce very interesting stuff that uh, goes on with the Chamber and uh, is they do quite a bit of work in town here so if you get on to uh, any Chamber event it's always worthwhile and uh, we had uh, uh, what event did we uh, enter into with uh, Naomi? She was giving out awards for, uh, res go ahead, uh, Councillor Work with uh, Naomi. Chapman Excellence Award. You betcha, yeah. And, uh, which was uh, quite uh, well attended. So anyway, that's uh, from Mayor. Is there any other uh, reports? Not hearing any. Discussion items. Letter from the Peace River Regional District dated October 12th. Construction of the new Chapman Public Library. Excuse me, Your Worship. Should we have a motion to accept the committee reports? Sure can, Steve. <laughs> motion to accept the reports. All those in favor? Carry. Discussion items. Letter from the Peace River Regional District dated October 12th, 2022, construction of the new Chetland Public Library. Would I need to declare a conflict with this one and remove myself from the vote? Okay, would you like me to sit over there? <laughs> make the recommendation that the Peace River Regional District's request for additional funds for construction of the new Chetwin Public Library be included in the 2023 budget discussions. Second. Discussion. Councilor Beck. Um, just, uh, are we getting into the amount or anything like that at this point, or? I assume we would have discussions. Uh, discussions? Uh, and um, okay. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, council had had questions the last meeting about amounts and reserves, and that's one of the reasons uh, uh, the director of finance is here. Basically, uh, uh, Director Rose had said that they were asking for the full amount if possible, 
and and uh, so we can either defer to the 2023 budget discussions or your guys questions from last time can be answered by director france france and state kevin we had a question of uh, what does that look like in our finances? Uh, where would that come from? What would it uh, would that uh, be the taxpayers? Uh, it, it usually does. Doesn't matter. The big picture does come from the taxpayers. But where are we going to take it through? Take it from if we do uh, make a decision on doesn't matter what what amount. Where would that be on the budget? I uh, I will have some recommendations for you on uh, what reserves you can uh, look at taking money from if you want to contribute any or all of this um, yes it will have some effect on the taxpayer because it's their money and well it may not result in a tax increase it may result in a project that we can't do for ourselves because we've given the money to somebody else so there will be some consequences that come with it. They're the, like with every decision we make that way. So um, I will have some recommendations for you and you can look at them at the budget or budget meeting. Go ahead, Clay. I guess without any further information, I'm uh, not supportive of us bearing the entire front of the overage. Like it is pretty uh, reasonable to think that we go over budget to this client especially. Uh, that, that's not a big surprise, but I don't think that this should be bearing the entire front of the, the over budget. I think that, that should be shared. I, I would agree with Councillor Basnodelsky because if I'm not mistaken, um, We've said in the past thirty-six thousand dollars is approximately a one percent interest hike. Am I am I wrong on that, or am I way out in the boonies on that, Kevin? Or did I no? That? The the two percent the thirty-six thousand would be about a two percent tax hike. Okay, property tax hike to to generate that kind of money. So and for for so four hundred fifty thousand dollars, we'd be looking at about us. Not we wouldn't be looking at a 7% increase, but we'd be looking at a 7% deficit somewhere else. Yeah, it, it's the shell game we play every year with budgets, right? There's a finite amount of money and there's more than enough projects to, to use it all up and we have to put our priorities on where we want our priorities to be, so. Thank you. The original amount that uh, they were uh, requesting was 1.5 million, am I correct? Yes, that's correct. And uh, Chetland uh, Council, we've uh, we're in it for one million dollars right at this time. Yes, the original request for was for one point five million. Council at the time agreed to contribute one million dollars to the project. We have done that. That money is gone, spent. It's with the regional district now. Um, and now Director Rose has come back and asked for essentially the rest of what his original request was, but it's still up to council to decide what portion of that they want to do. Okay, I just uh, I just want to make sure that uh, what uh, Councillor Deck has asked about, uh, you're talking about the 2%, there's not going to be an increase of the amount that you said on 450,000 or 400 and something that is asking for. That's not what's going to happen, right? We're, if we decide there's not going to be that tax burden right away because we do have money, like you said, in other places, is that the shell game you're talking about? Yeah, um, we have some reserves that council could use for this if that's what they choose to do. I'm not going to say it won't be a tax increase because you have that option as well. I wouldn't foresee you going going there, but that is one of your choices, and those will all be presented to you with the budget discussions. So, okay. okay, thank you. Any other discussion for? Okay, we will send it to uh, budget discussion. It'll be on the 2023 uh, budget. Do we need to make a motion to that effect that we're sending it to? Uh, it's already made. It's already made. 
Okay. okay. All those in favor? Gary. Okay. That's what that was for. Mel, that's what that was for. Okay. It was into the other room. Okay. <laughs> I think Chris put it there for that reason. Discussion item number two. Email from email from the Minerals North Conference Association dated October 17th, 2022. Minerals North October 2022 update. I'll make that recommendation that council authorize the mayor or alternate to attend the Minerals North Conference in Quinell, BC, May 31st to June 2nd, 2023. Seconded. Councillor McDonald, second. Discussion. <laughs> um, thank you. I would suggest that. Um, Council authorizes the mayor and all councillors who are all. able to make the conference because it's a very worthwhile conference. It would have to be amended uh, as read. It says alternate. So you, if you're going to make an amendment, that's going to be the amendment. Right. right. So I'm not making the. What, does it say alternate? And that's not the motion. That's just reference. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching the motion at this point. I'm just saying, you know, it's okay. it's a a worthy um, conference, and yep. I know the last one. Well, the last one I believe was held in Chetwin. Oh, there's probably been one since, but um, more than mayor and alternate attended, yep. and uh, I think it would be nice to have that uh, option to go. Any other discussion? I, uh, I agree with uh, Council Work. Okay, so we have, uh, was read, the Council authorized the Mayor or alternate to attend the Minerals North Conference in Cornell. So that's what I heard. And Council Work says all. Is that uh, correct, Steve? I mean, If, if Councillor Deck could just rephrase the, yep. the motion. Okay. Consider it rephrased. Yeah. And the second. And the seconder. Okay, you good with that? Okay, we're voting on that. All those in favor? Councillor Work, you had something? Just get, go ahead. Just to clarify, we're voting on the amendment? We're voting on all. You said oh, okay, thank you. On all. So. All those in favor? Carry. See those valuable tools that we learn at those places need to be legal so we have to be able to do it properly. Okay, correspondence. Letters from the Honorable Nathan Cullen, Minister of Municipal Affairs, dated October 27, 2022, uh, 2020 Union of BC Municipalities Convention Meeting. Uh, C1. Yeah, C1. Motion received. Second. Okay, Councilor Deck. Any discussion? I said we're just receiving, right? All those in favor? Okay. Information items. Anything to lift? Uh, I have uh, the one that I'd like to lift, uh, Councillor Besantowski. I believe it would be one. Uh, I-4, email from the Federation of Canadian Municipalities dated October 18th, 2022. Join us February 7th to the 10th, 
2023 for FCM Sustainable Communities Conference. So this one, I believe uh, I had uh, uh, the system to check it out and she says it's a hybrid uh, conference. So I believe it's, we can uh, do it through Zoom or we can participate in person. So this is just one of the items that we could bring up in the future, but if you would like to read it, uh, I know today's uh, a changing world is to uh, have sustainable uh, energy and uh, green spaces in our uh, communities. And this is one of the things that uh, FCM is doing. So I would just like to put it out there that uh, if we need to and in the future, we can bring this up in uh, one of our uh, future meetings if uh, we would like, because I believe it's uh, one of the things that we need to do as a community. And uh, and that would be it. Any others? Okay, Clay, to the... Uh, yeah, motion to receive. Motion has been made to receive I-2 to I-9. Second. All those in favor? Carried. Reports for action, RA1. Illegal structure, 5289 44th Street East. I'll make the rec recommendation that council authorize administration to file a notice with the land title office against the property located at 5289 44th Street, Southeast Chowton, BC, for an illegal structure contrary to the district's building bylaw. Discussion, Clay. Have we not done this already? This, I remember this being brought up at another meeting or maybe not. I think it's been brought forward already. Yes, uh, the lad owner had had the option to attend the meeting to present his side. And so we've contacted him since, and he hasn't shown. So, oh, okay. um, so it's brought back for for voting on whether or not to put the file. Okay. Uh, uh, Any other discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Utility trailer fireworks. I will make the recommendation that council approve the purchase of a seven by sixteen closed utility trailer to house the district's fireworks, mortars, and equipment for twelve thousand nine hundred. Excluding taxes with the funds coming from the COVID 19 restart funds. Second. Any discussion? Council Work? I do have a question. Um, I mean, you know, the, the uh, other option was to allocate storage space. I'm just wondering why um, do we have the space? That was kind of the rub is we don't really have the space. Right now the fireworks are stored in the chief's garage and you know, that's probably not ideal. Yeah. Um, so we felt that and the chief feels that this is the best solution in this particular issue. Thank you. Any more discussion? Yeah. Mel? So he's actually storing fireworks in his garage or the mortars and stuff? The mortars and stuff, but when we come closer to where he purchases the fireworks, then the last time they were actually in his garage. Uh, but he, he stored them according to code. He gets them apparently like right before the event. And, and this way, with the trailer, it gives us a contained place that we can keep it safe and everything. Okay, go ahead. 
guess there's no room up at the old forestry shop or anything? Uh, no, no we're, we're, there's no room at the end right now for pretty much anything. We're going through this with a few different things, uh, search and rescue being one, uh, just finding space to store a variety of things. A few of the parks uh, equipment, like the, one of the lawnmowers is outside right now because they don't have space for it inside. So we're working on a variety of solutions for a variety of storage issues. Thank you. The parks yard is currently fenced and locked outside of working hours when people aren't on site, correct? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Carry. Evaluation. Evaluation of solid waste res residential curbside collection service proponents. I'll make the recommendation that council direct staff to enter into a contract with GFL Environmental Inc. for solid waste curbside collection services for a term of three years with the pricing as noticed in the table above. Second. Discussion? Was this not announced in the coffee talk just recently over this past week? That it has already been approved and is going forward? I believe I saw it in the coffee talk this week. Staff? Um, I think I saw the article that you're referencing. Um, I'm not sure who approved that. Um, and I don't know the exact wording. Um, I think it more so just said that uh, we are making a move towards not offering commercial garbage collection. Um, and that was this RFP that was issued was for residential. Good counselor? Yeah, that's okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Carrie. Reports for information, October accounts payable checks list or checklist. Discussion? All those in favor? Carry. No new business. No. no new business. Public questions. Is there anybody on the phone or Zoom or reporters? Question? Good. Adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay. We are adjourned. The mayor doesn't know where everybody's work is, so if he appoints somebody into position, library, right, for instance, because that's the easiest one right now, uh, that we have ourselves in the right spot. And sometimes it doesn't have to be in the right spot. You just have to report back to uh, the council. So right now, uh, what's been pointed out, I'd like to address that first, was uh, the one with uh, Councillor uh, Wark, that I missed this for the last uh, while, was I kept her on one committee for the whole, whole term, so I was kind of, yeah, well, that was kind of disappointing on my part, and uh, I'm glad she brought that up. So anyway, <clears throat> some of the committees right now, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna read this, and then we will discuss uh, what the changes uh, were uh, with the liaisons. So the Chamber, Kayla McDonald, Chamber of Commerce, Library, Judy M. Nelson, uh, Municipal Insurance Authority, uh, Andrea Smith, and alternate, uh, Councilor Wark, uh, North, a regional advisory committee, Councillor Nelson, Councillor McDonald, alternate. Okay, for the liaisons, uh, BC Hydro, uh, Profit, uh, Profit Community Fund, 
uh, Councilor Wark, uh, Chainsaw Carving Championship Society, Councilor McDonald, Chapman Communication Society, Councilor Deck, Chapman Community Harm Reduction Group, Clay Bazandowski, Chapman General Hospital Work, uh, Working Group, Councilor Smith, Councilor Wark, Chapman Shelter, uh, Shelter Committee, Councilor Bazandowski, Fire Department, uh, Councilor Deck, Heritage Museum, Councillor Smith, North Central Government Association 2023 AGM and Convention Organization Committee, Councillor Nelson, Councillor Wark, RCMP, Councillor Wark, Senior Citizens Housing Society, Councillor Nelson, Site C Regional Community Liaison Committee, Mayor Kutre, Councillor Nelson. Violence Against Women in Relationship, Councillor McDonald. So there's uh, one other one that uh, I would like to uh, discuss is uh, uh, Councillor uh, Deck, alternate to uh, the Peace River Regional District. Uh, how do you feel about that, uh, Councillor? Uh, I, I think it works and uh, I, I, it works, but I've done it for quite some time. So okay. Yeah, okay. If anybody else wants to kick at it, I'm yep. more than happy to. Yeah. See, this is the stuff. This is this is the stuff that I won't get get back. I just point and to have uh, things go through that I go through it and try to, with the best of uh, my ability and the help from staff, I go through it and say who's all on there. And so, uh, <clears throat> if somebody's uh, willing, then I'm more than happy to make that uh, adjustment. If we could just go back to the list that you read out, yes. um, I wasn't prepared to, I didn't okay. realize that what you were reading out was different than what I was seeing. Okay, yes. okay. And if we could discuss that before we go okay. on to the PRD appointment. Yes, you bet. Um, so uh, I think starting at the top of the list, Chamber of Commerce, um, who was that? Caleb McDonald. Okay, and Councilor library? Councillor Nelson. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and, I, and I noticed, um, and I don't want you to repeat it all, but I did notice that you said RCMP, Councillor Wark, which is fine, but I did have a conversation with Councillor McDonald, and she was quite looking forward to being on that committee, so I wouldn't want okay. yep. to, you know, I mean, I, yes. I just like to s discuss um, these appointments is all. Yeah, because in a year's time we will uh, be changing a little bit, but if that's uh, the prerogative of yourself and uh, yourself, Janet, that's fine with me. That's okay. fine with me. Okay. Okay. So we maybe. Will, we will keep it as uh, Councillor McDonald for the RCMP. I may as well chime in that it's quite looking forward to my appointment to the uh, BC Hydro nonprofit community. And I'm fine with that as well, Julia. Um, I, I, my only request that was that I be removed from the library board, yep. but um, sorry, can you yep. tell me what, what else I was appointed to besides RCMP and BC Hydro, which I am not? <laughs> so we are, you were on the BC Hydro one, correct? And you were, so BC Hydro will continue to be Councillor Nelson. Yep, will be continued, yep. So do you, um, I'm sorry, so which, which besides, oh, and I, I mean, if Councillor McDonald's okay, I would keep the Chamber of Commerce, okay? Yep, okay. Okay, yep. so besides the Chamber of Commerce, the hospital, Chetwin Hospital Working Group, the NCLGA, um, were those my only appointments? I just want to be sure. Yep, and if you were, uh, remove our uh, changes to the other ones, I will, uh, uh, you have room for one more, so mm -hmm. other, I, will, I will do that. For sure. Okay. Thank you. So those are good feedback, maybe in a year, uh, 
myself and staff, we will look at it and then we will throw it, throw it about and uh, making sure that we're not uh, uh, putting somebody in, uh, in a place where uh, they're uh, controversial or whatever, we will ask. But anyway, uh, that's, that was a question that I had uh, coming into this because it was requested that let's discuss this a little bit and it was good that we get to talk about our liaison because it's important to the community that, and it's important to us to have some kind of pulse on the community from our uh, liaisons and, and our uh, committees. Any, any other questions? Uh, uh, good with Mel and thanks for that Mel, for the alternate. So, we're good? Okay, I will uh, give you the, the appointment. I, I, will get, I will find out where the, uh, I need an appointed, oh, okay. appointed liaison, then I will uh, forward it to uh, Councillor uh, Work. Okay, any more? We're done? Adjourned? Oh. Councillor Work? Okay, sorry. I, I, what are any changes happening with yeah, the PRD? Yeah, nope. no, no changes. Okay, so we, I will send out a new list. So it, it'll be done here once uh, Dan and myself can get together. We'll put a new list and get it all printed out, and we'll uh, we'll email it to uh, councillors. Okay, is that good? Okay. Okay, Jeremy. Second. Thank you. Thank you.